Hey everyone, this is a video showing off that the iPhone 3.0 software update has enabled uh, background Safari loading. And previously, with Safari, you either had to uh, let a page load and then go to a text message or email, or cancel that and go to the email, text message, reply, and then uh, go back to Safari and let the page load. Now, I will just clear the history, clear the cookies, clear the cache to just prove that it's not like a background uh, or a previously site that I've uh, visited. So here we are at apple.com. I'll go to one of the sites I like to check out. Actually, let's go to the nokiablog.com. It's one of my friend's sites. Click go. Click home. Let's go to my calendar. All right, July 1st. Let's see the Yankee game today. Tonight, actually, 7:05. Got it's on the Yes Network. All right. Let's go to Friday. Got some movie releases. Public Enemies. What else? Nothing else is good. Uh, Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Basically, I'm just showing you that I'm in a totally different app doing something else. Now I'll click home. Nope, don't want to search. Now I'll go back to Safari. And there you go. The page is totally loaded. For a split second, there was a load bar there, but that's nothing. The page was already done. And uh, as you can see, it's all there. Now, to show you that it even works within Safari, I will load up another site I like to check out in Gadget. All right, and go back to the Nokia blog and just check out anything new. I like that N97, it's a pretty nice phone actually. Got Flickr to Twitter. All right, let's see. It's a good blog. You should check it out for all you Nokia fans out there. Okay. Yeah. N97 hardware review. All right. Well, I want to go back to Engadget now. And look, look what you got. Yeah, my iPod Touch is a little slow, but the page is there, fully loaded. There was no load bar there. And uh, yeah, look, upon pre information. But as you can see, it's all there. The checkering is, well, just because my iPod Touch is older and slower than the iPhone 3GS. But if you were to do this on iPhone 3GS, there's actually another video out there showing you that. And it does not checker on Engadget.com. Kind of sucks. Just shows how my iPod Touch first generation is getting pretty old.